What up, y'all? It's your man, Chill Smith, and today we're gonna do a quick review on the Antelope Audio Zen Q. So the Antelope Audio Zen Q is a bus-powered desktop audio interface. It has 14 ins and 10 outs. All right, let's get into the hardware. On the front, you have your guitar inputs, your hi-z inputs, and you have two headphone inputs. And the build of this thing, it's all metal. It's all very solid. It looks good on the desk to me. I love the way it looks. I like the, the design on here. I like the uh, the clean metal look with the, the red logo. If I click here, I can adjust the gain with the big knob. This is the channel that I'm on that you're hearing me on. And it uh, clicks through all the, the preamps that we have on here. If I click through this, this is like the headphone mix and the monitors and the, and the line outs. If I click this, this brings me back to the home screen as you can see the way i have it hooked up i have um my main microphone is in line one and the microphone that you're hearing me on right now is uh in line two monitor outs going into my monitoring system i'm using adat to expand you know my inputs it's going into a focus right 18 i 20. so when i initially plugged in the interface this was a screen i was kind of stuck on because it did not recognize the interface at first and i'm on an m1 mac mini but i'm gonna leave a link to the video that i watched that kind of helped me out if you run into this problem hit up antelope audio because i'm sway right now and i ain't got all the answers but once it recognizes your device if you want to pull up the see i said start control panel right there we're going to click that and it's going to bring up this screen right here. On the top, you have these that represent your preamps. On the first two, you can select mic, line, and high Z. On the second two, you can only select line and high Z. I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for an interface to add a bunch of outboard gear, this is not the interface for you. Now we're gonna check out the AFX. So this right here is why you buy a DSP interface like this for the real time signal processing baby and quick warning when you want to turn on phantom power you actually have to hold command and click on here uh and this is for phase but i'm not doing anything in stereo so i should be all right and this right here if you click that it's for the uh to my understanding this is for the microphone modeling emulation thing for the antelope audio microphone that they have that um, mimics uh a bunch of other high-end microphones uh i don't have that microphone um i might get it um antelope audio if you send it to me i'll review it but as of right now your boy don't got it i'm on the road pod mic and this is what you're hearing me on just real quick i'm gonna go over we can check out the vocal chain i'm actually using right now which man i man i, lo I love this man i love this i love stuff like this this is great um know what's funny about this is that they don't use the exact terms of the the gear that they're emulating even though this this says bay like they have it straight up but i'm gonna just show you this real quick because this made me laugh i'm gonna go add effect oh uh, vintage compressor and you see you see how it says impressor <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a distressor that they called impressor uh and you can actually literally hear how my vocals sound now it's uh super compressed because i put this on here but i don't know I, I just i just found that very funny that it's called impressor that's i just thought that was hilarious i can just click this to bypass it or i can just hit this x just to get rid of it and yeah I just, you're looking right now i just have a i got a preamp on here and i have a compressor all right yo so overall thoughts of the antelope audio zen q why would you buy this and who's it for i previously was using a focus right 18 i 20 which um is not a dsp and i had some outboard gear hooked up to it but i found myself not using the outboard gear that i had and i kind of wanted to just clean up the clutter like i want to use every single piece that i have in here and as of right now the way i have my studio set up 
I'm actually using every single piece of hardware I have. And I and I got like 200 plugins. I'm a I'm a in the box mostly type of guy. So if you want in the box type of person and you want some some DSP power, some real time processing from your interface and you're looking at things like the Universal Audio Twin or the Apple G Duet or the Mutu or whatever DSP interface that they have right now. I mean, check it out. It's cheaper than the Universal Audio and I'm pretty sure right now it's on sale so if you catch this right now you're gonna get a banging price for an excellent audio interface this has been your man chill smith i'll catch y'all later man peace